Good day, Sambona Ninja. My name is Mbumelo. I'm Shango Shabala Luka. I'm Shopping Officer Nakuba Gain. Guys, uh, thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, we have reached 1,000. We are heading to 2,000 manager. Hopefully, uh, by a miracle, uh, Senior Figa, we uh, know here, 1 January 2024, uh, CBA is still 3,000 plus uh, subscribers. So, hopefully, Manga was a Jogri Chalo number to youtube and also on tiktok i'd be very very happy uh so yeah guys thank you for the support and uh, we hope to grow as a family and we hope to grow uh socially and economically because as well as the and but then yeah guys uh, on today's video i just want to speak uh specifically uh to all metric all metric who are currently writing their final exams uh so this video is specifically for you guys and i'm gonna do a lot of videos when it comes to all metric as they are embarking in a transition when it comes to their career transition when it comes to their education because they're gonna move from high school to another level which is university level and they have to be very cautious on how and what they do when it comes to these transitions and what they plan to do because it's it's a uh, especially in the employment sector and so on so yeah uh, i just want to mention some few basic things uh for instance if you want to study at the university whether it's uct uh unis or the uk uh up and so on and by all means do try at least uh, to land on data points uh, at this point uh, there are some universities that take all 28 points. Uh, remember, EUK is the are 28 and above, or 29 and above. Uh, and then you have all unis who they take all 26. Uh, probably these universities go, uh, go, 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 the Eastern Cape universities, like all 40, their points are much lower. Uh, and also for some reason, uh, the former black only universities, their points are much lower when it comes to the former whites only universities like all UCT uh, or VETS and so on, those universities require a lot of points when you want to come into their institutions. So I just want to say with you while you're writing, while you're studying, aim at least to have 30 plus points uh, that will kind of uh, make you get into majority of universities. And also do uh, consider with you when the map modules, which subject and which career path do you want to take? Uh, also understand the uh, you might want to take a loan something on data points you might be able to get in clambergo unis you might be able to get in by an inch go uk zn but they require someone who has for example 32 34 36 going up uh, to maybe smoothly get in so do understand the levels of the uses universities uh, do understand what certain points uh, can get you the same course in a different university. So one has to take work and think because you have some people go to UCT and want to do it or no matter what, you might find a challenge uh, when it comes to the point work. Uh, but in universities like all Forte, Unizulu, you might, 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 might get in. Uh, there are higher chances of getting in and uh, the point work, for instance, if you want to do law. So do check these things out, do check out my brochures, as same of our city and compare OT, uh, which university takes like the least points in the uh, academic uh, part you want to take. So you know yourself, you know my child, you know what you how many points you got. But you probably know what's okay. In general, you part of the final exams, I'm probably gonna get around this at the end of the final exams. So this is like your last chance uh, before we value some of the universities, I say value when it comes to applications, but this is also the last chance where you can do or change your mind and so on. So do check these things out carefully. Do understand what if you want to do electrical engineering, for uh, they require all 40, 38 points. Example, uh, mango so they're gonna require a bit lesser points. Example, even up to 80, 82. Uh, do check those things out. Do compare. We will see every jammy maybe, and where can I get in smoothly when it comes to January? Another issue I just want to speak about uh, specifically for this video is when it comes to January, Puma results, and you guys are coming from different cities. You want to be traveling to Durban, you're going to be traveling to Joburg, to OUJ, and so on. Uh, so you're going to need guidance when it comes to 
maybe taking taking EC to another city, taking a bus and getting there, you don't have any relatives. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because I do not want to see uh, people sleeping uh, in the holes UCT people sleeping in the holes uh, in UK ZN because they don't have any place to sleep at and especially for Abandu Swazana that is not a scene you want to see Umunde uh, Sugekaya going to the city first year trying to look for a space and also trying to look for a reality there's always issues when it comes to residents people don't have money so they end up sleeping on what's available at that specific point and it never looks good when it comes to January uh, especially for one baggage who find themselves end up sleeping in floors, uh, go student union buildings in these institutions. And there are a lot of people who take advantage, advantage of that situation. And it never sits well. I'm someone who studied in Varsity, uh, worked uh, in the university for different departments. Uh, so I know what I've seen. I know the situation. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I know Uguti Kuzo Wenzagala, like in every other year. So this is just a heads up, Uguti. If you are coming from maybe Gomtubaduba, you're coming from maybe Gongwelezani, you're going to Durban, you don't have any relatives, uh, just make a plan, Uguti, at least for five days in Zosuli accommodation. Uh, go go Airbnb, try and find the cheapest accommodation. Uh, gather up some students from your school because it's not like Uzubu where the examples are from a space from a Durban if Ufunde maybe in a bangini or Ufunde go to Shue, Wanongoma and so on, you're not going to be the only one who's going to want to go to Durban, who's going to want to go to Durban uh, to look for a school. So do uh, talk early, especially those who are going to go UKZN and so on. Uh, I also know some people in UKZN, probably people who, who own some uh, few cheap apartments, people who own student accommodation. Um, Clampy because it's gonna be just before a uh, university and the semester. Maybe they're gonna have some spaces that will rent out cheaper. Uh, if Clampy of Funis Place go Unizulu, Kuban and Kashi Unizulu, so you're not gonna sleep outside because you're gonna have to find or make a plan. You go to Tole or Master and at least find a room you can rent for 100 Chand a day. Ula, the who you say, look for a space once you're done. Uh, looking for a space you get back home you so prepared and so on what i'm trying to avoid is to have students and especially women sleeping is kangeni being taken advantage of especially by the senior students especially by the senior src and these movements who uh, in university space and some of them are not always there for the good intentions some of them are just there to take advantage of a manifest here so do prepare these things and for instance uh, just to give a heads up a, a band who are going to be traveling especially go ukzn dut uh, unizu because these are the areas i'm very familiar with uh, if you're gonna arrive maybe in durban cbd uh, you're coming from Kolongoma, chosen and so on it is is it is okay mca normal is okay um no make sure you stage. Obviously, my way to stage, there's taxes. I'm at the line up. We go straight inside town. So, those are shoes and food. I'm at the side of the house. I'm at the side of the house. I'm at the side of the villa corner. Food and I sell a shop. I'm at the side of the house. I'm at the corner in the market. So, just uh, keep these words that I'm saying was it's okay. Man, forget the readings or the market because I want to go to Howard College. A man of Funa Ugia Medical School is what I'm getting because I want to go to medical school. So, Uzo Atolama Dexi, I have a Rochester every rank in a lap high workshop with them. So, yeah, guys, as I was saying, uh, Uzo Atolama Dexi, I have a shop in Jalo, I have a UKZN medical school and also a medical school and also Howard College, Uzo Atolama Dexi, I have a shop. And also, if you want to go to uh, PMP uh, and maybe you're going to arrive in Durban, uh, I'm at the Texaya corner. Uh, I don't know what do you call this place? Pasala Pangase City Hospital. Uh, they also central just before Emaget, Uzo at the PMP. They're also going to leave you straight at campus. And also, another thing, if you are going to Unizulu or Unizulu Riches Bay or the Zangazo campus, when you go to a Deben station during January, uh, these taxi associations have specific taxes going directly to these universities. So, when I saw a taxi from Durban, uh, a Durban station, it's a 
the University of Zululand and also from universities of Zululand you have specific taxes living inside campus to a Deben. So you're not gonna have a problem when it comes to January, when it comes to transportation, if you are going to a Uni Zulu. And also if you are going to a Richards Bay campus, you can also have a Madexi Asuga Deben stage direct to a, a University of Zululand Richards Bay campus. So these uh, taxi associations, they have specific tactics uh, during which are not that are gonna take um, as students because they know a lot of students are gonna be traveling up and down and they take them directly to these uh, university institutions. And uh, what else am I forgetting? In Mangosutu, Mlazi, which everyone knows Mlazi, uh, there are various taxi ranks as Mlazi. Uh, in Mangosutu is kind of like in the entrance of e Umlazi, so most uh, taxi associations they pass in Mangosutu or in Mangosutu Highway. So you're gonna find the uh, Amatex Ayago, Mangosutu, Goto, Lee, you're gonna find them, Amagete, uh, you're gonna find the Amatex and Simlazi that they're everywhere. They're gonna have a party when it comes to a, a, a workshop, like the bus terminals, you can also take home Lazi, like a party, they're gonna go by uh, in Mangosutu, and the Mangosutu is own is actually on the highway so it's like almost every taxi every bus passes in mango suits when it comes to traveling and looking for space at a mango suits and when it comes to accommodation a mango suits is in the township so if you are looking for space and you don't get something to officially kind at a specific time when i'm a student they're gonna get you maybe a space you would try and give for a specific day the owner of that property uh, because now they at that specific time uh, they wouldn't mind an extra 100 200 300 from the students also for for the specific day a uh, are looking at space so they can a, make money and it's much cheaper in that way for you and for them and also when it comes to Durban, uh, guys, Nyanangu Airbnb, Nyanangu Booking.com, look for the cheapest accommodations, uh, especially when you're in central Durban, uh, you're looking for space code DOT, uh, there's very cheap accommodation, uh, you can find the cheapest code Booking.com, you can find it, or Airbnb, just something to sleep, find someone in Susuanaye, in Gagini, travel to Durban, share the price, share the room, have something to sleep in, and something to maybe feel secure in with a of space and then go back at home because it's not fun having people sleep anyway having people sleep on the streets having people stranded and then a lot of things happen to these people so it's very dangerous in the cities uh, the thugs are also there to take advantage of the situation because they know what looking for space so do uh, take these things into consideration if you want to travel to Durban, to Johannesburg, to Pretoria, I'm a pastor called the Etepe Station. If you want to travel to these institutions in the Houghton province, I'm a pastor, they can be like, oh, 250, 300, uh, 1 APM. Intercape is one of the best uh, bus services currently, but uh, they're not necessarily the cheapest. Who uh, know? I believe the cheapest at the moment, it might be APM. I always find it cheaper and some of these bus companies they have like student discounts so at least if you are someone on a student card you can kind of like get a discount yeah, and also on intercape you can get a discount yeah, if you have a student card and you are traveling to the other city same as okay town i'm a busy, obviously if you want to travel long distance whether you want to go to nelson mandela university just go ahead and stay you're gonna get it busy so yeah guys uh, do remember to like subscribe comment uh, i'm gonna do a lot of videos especially for people who are doing the final exams they're gonna be doing first year universities next year i'm also gonna be explaining some of the courses uh, just the uh, last minute uh, catch up for them uh, if they want to select modules how can they select modules how can they plan their future maybe doing OPSS, doing law, doing psychology and so on. I'm going to be explaining a lot of those things because I worked in the academic sphere. So I know a lot of courses and I know the whole setup and I know what if you do this course, you're going to end up finding employment here. This job, uh, this course is not as highly recommended for employment issues in South Africa. Uh, this job or this career path is going to take you and get a job maybe abroad. So we'll do this one. I'm going to be just giving you, I'm a plans, hints. So parents, students,
Ohio State won. Thank you.